Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new team of the season Pellegrini card to review. Uh, the card looks pretty dope, to be honest with you. Uh, he has all of the right things to be pretty sick for the meta of FIFA. So definitely looking forward to trying this bad boy out. He could be like a Lorente card, like a good Lorente card in a way, because uh, Lorente in this game is actually really solid. If you were to use that Champions League Lorente card, he would still be a good card uh, for FIFA nowadays. So with this card, guys, he's four star, four star, six foot one, high medium work rates at a high and average body type. So pretty good. On an anchor chemistry style, this card can have 97 acceleration with 96 for sprint speed while giving him a great defensive boost while also working with a good physical boost as well. So all of that, definitely very nice. If you care about the pace, as I do in this game, a shadow chemistry style could totally work for you too. But the thing is, though, is that I am liking the boost that he's given on an anchor chemistry style when it comes to like the physical stuff. So we're going to take a look at that, right? In game, he's going to be working with 97 acceleration at a 96 for uh, sprint speed, which obviously is great. Uh, for shooting capabilities, the card is in the 90s area. 90s area with the outside foot shot traits and the long shot taker as well. So beautiful stuff there. Uh, base card stats for passing on the card is in a great area, considering the fact that he also has the four star weak foot with a 94 for composure. Uh, dribbling stats on the card is going to be in the mid 90s, high 90s area as well. When it comes to defending and physical stats, it's in a pretty good area, considering the fact that he's a taller player with a high and average body type. So some very very interesting stuff to take a look at there so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and complete the sbc first and i'll show you guys how we line them up in game okay cool beans so now we're just going to go ahead and give him the anchor chemistry style what's cool is that this team is kind of formatted nicely for it because what we can do is this right so now we have the four attackers and what we could do is this right so we can do a four one two and two playing him as the more attacking oriented midfielder. Am I blind? Where is he, Pellegrini? Wow. I don't know. I just blanked out. You guys ever like blank out like that? Oh my goodness. I don't know what just happened. It's like, which card am I reviewing? Where, where am I? <laughs> All right. Uh, Kessier over here, Pellegrini there, Insigne. Uh, he has the outside foot shot. We're going to do that instead, actually. Yeah, for those long shots. Uh, rest of it should be okay. Yeah, four, one, two, and two, switch that here. And that's the cover wing one. Yeah, we could do that, get forward on him. He's a stay back one, but that's fine. Actually, we could do this because Perisic actually has some defensive qualities. Okay, let's go try him out. Mm, I want to try the strike from there. This guy gonna leave in the beginning because he sees me doing some things and then Oh, over the bar on the weak foot. Almost worked out from the uh, weak foot pass. See, I knew he was being dumb because of the beginning, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Mm, a little bit of a sway on the initial acceleration there. Definitely noticed that. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> Does do a track back quick enough there to actually block out that opportunity. Doesn't do any sort of animation, but whatever works, man. Wow, to be fair, he actually does track back all the way. In that situation, that was the guy in the middle. For that angle. His running isn't like the most agile type of run. It's very, uh, it's more physical for sure. Lug around switch. Hmm. I was going to see if I can get lucky from that. Just by holding the shield button. It was a good pass, though, to be fair. 
Maybe I should have gone for an L1 R1 instead. Oh, that one he boosted. That's good. Oh, a little bit of an initial thing there, too. Yeah, I'm telling you in this game, when you make one challenge, the AI will do the second one for you. It's just a thing. Good job. Oh, no ta tackle there. But the track back was good. The track back was good. His high medium work rate is not uh, being a nuisance in the defensive area so far. I think it's just more for attacking stuff if you want him to do that. Good little block there. Use the sprint speed a little bit. Guys, you could tell that his running animation is more just like heavy-ish. I would probably just give him the shadow if that's the case with him. Good driven. Okay, okay. I want to see how responsive the dribbling stuff is. Green time on the weak foot. Under pressure. It's not going to make him take a great strike, to be fair. Yeah, so that's me testing out the dribbling to show you guys that he has this, like, thing to him, right? Okay, we didn't get the initial challenge. We got the second one. First time pass, nice. Okay, try a long shot with the uh, white timed finish. Oi! Is it not a foul? Or maybe it was, but they played advantage. Good animation choice, though, to get the ball. I'll take that. Yeah, that's a, a raising shot from the bottom that's never going to go in. Has to be a dip. Okay, guys, this time we're going to give him the Shadow Chemistry style because honestly, boosting his physical, I don't really care about. Because of his body type, I want him to feel faster on the runs. So let me try him out on the Shadow with the small little extra defensive stats as well. Yeah, I'm perfectly okay with his positioning, to be honest. Perfectly okay with it. Like, high medium work rate's not really a problem when it comes to the defensive uh, positioning and whatnot. Ooh, that's the one. That was a really nice direct shot. Very, very nice. There he is again in the middle, you see? Ooh, white times. If I got that on the green, I think that would have been fine. There it is. It's that dip, bro. You want that dip shot. That dip shot's what's crazy. Those dribbles worked out a little bit better for sure. Ooh, first touch. A little bit shaky, but it is a driven pass. So I don't mind him not completely collecting that. Nice. Green time finesse. Great strike. Nice. The chip actually worked there. Good stuff. Oh, that one was rough. On his right foot, too, eh? It's weird. Eh? It's uh, In this game, It's you just got to get the right angles. It's how it works. It's very strange, but... Less skill moves. Little fakety fakes. Croquetta to the outside. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a regular white. Get the challenge. No. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Here he was. See? Edge of the 18. It is always better to have high, high work rates, no matter what, guys. Every single time, it's always better. But it's not as bad if you're working with a high, high uh, next to the high medium, right? So. And the chip works. Lovely. 
Nothing crazy defensively there, but at least he was positioned properly. Yeah, full circle to do a turn there. That type of stuff you notice a little bit for sure. If this card is valued at 100k, it's a decent SBC for the variables around the card. It's something like too crazy special, but if it's 100k, then it's definitely fair value. Oh, it's a rising one. Rising one's not going to do it for me, man. Oh, white one too, eh? Good animation for the strike. Oh, we missed that one. Oh, nothing there. You yeah, know, good tackle animation at least. Ooh, just a white time shot, eh? Nice. He has good passing. No! Yeah, uses his height and physical to get that. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the team of the season at Pellegrini card. So, uh, yeah, it was like I was mentioning during the review. If the card is valued at 100k, I think it's fair value for what he offers in-game. Uh, it doesn't feel crazy special, obviously, uh, but for a card that is 100k that gives you those certain links, that offers you that certain playstyle, I don't mind the price of the SBC, to be honest with you. Now, for me personally, on the Shadow Chemistry style, it's definitely... Uh, a preference of mine because I think improving his pace as much as possible is going to be very important for him because I felt like his body type and his dribbling stats, it works a certain way where he still kind of feels heavy in a way, right? Uh, so you kind of have to work with that a little bit. That's why I give him that extra acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible. Uh, the shooting stats being in the 90s area while working with the outside foot shot trait and the long shot taker is absolutely fantastic to work with if you're using this card as your cover center center mid in a 4 one 2 and 2 you know a card that can push forward come back i'm not completely against that whatsoever you could totally use him in a two midfield setup as well because obviously the fact that he's a tall player is the helpful thing it's just that weird feeling with his body type and the way that he moves uh that you notice a little bit more but with the spc being 100k I think the value of the SBC is perfectly fine value uh, for what this card offers in game for the meta of FIFA. So on the shadow chemistry style, definitely a preference of mine personally. The passing works out great with the four star weak foot, the strong foot, uh, the dribbling on the ball and stuff. Like I said, I thought it would have felt a little bit better, but it's still decent enough for a midfielder. That's like me overdoing it when it comes to the dribbling as well just for the sake of the review so um yeah the sbc at 100k is perfectly fine nothing too crazy special of the card but 100k is completely fine for the price of it so if we take a look at the comparisons between this card and some of the other Syria players it's hard to compare because there's different play styles right like if we're taking a look at brozovic brozovic at 107k is incredibly fair value for the links that he offers in a team for the type of play style that you can play with him right because Here's the thing, right? Pellegrini, Brozovic, you can use these guys in a two midfield setup, three midfield setup, or you can use them in the right mid position as the attacking and defensive oriented cards, right? So that's always a variable that you can work with because, you know, they both have stamina and whatnot. So um, Kessier, if we're going to be doing comparison for like uh, just general meta quality, Kessier is definitely the best Serie A midfielder, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't tried on Milinkovic Savage yet, but... From what I've seen so far, Kessier just has that thing to him, and it's usually because of the high, high work rates being a really good work rate this year. Um, Maitland Niles, I never tried out that card even before. He got upgraded recently, but I don't think people care too much about that guy. Um, Kessier is a beast, though. If you guys are like doing like Serie A teams, AC Milan links and stuff, you should definitely get Kessier for sure. Um, Linkovic Savage, haven't tried. Arturo Vidal could be good, but that was like during that time period, like you definitely need more pace nowadays. So I think Vidal would probably be the only other card if upgraded in the future, they give him like a flashback or something, I don't know, uh, that I would probably compare to. But like I said, I mean, the SBC being at 100K for someone that gives you Roma and Italian links, I'm not a completely against it, but is there better choices? There is better choices if you have certain links in your squad. If you're talking about like soft links and stuff, you could just buy players and then sell them, right? But 
yeah, 100K, I do not mind at all. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.